friends, Scott here. Welcome back to another story time. Today, we're reading Thomas and the Dinosaur. One day, Percy rushed into the shed. I saw a monster in the forest, he said. What's a monster? Thomas asked. Monsters are very big animals with very big teeth, Percy answered. And they eat engines. Thomas was a little bit scared to go near the forest, but he had work to do. Suddenly, he saw a very big animal with very big teeth. Monster! Thomas shouted as he raced back to tell Percy. I saw it, Thomas said with a shudder. The monster, Percy asked. Yes, Thomas replied, but I got away. Just then, Sir Topham Hat came into the shed. Thomas, he said, I need you to bring a special load from the forest. Now Thomas was really worried. What if he met up with the monster again? Slowly, slowly, Thomas puffed back to the forest with his driver. Through the trees, Thomas again saw that very big animal with the very big teeth. Monster, he shouted to his driver. That's not a monster, the driver said. That's just a model of a dinosaur. What's a dinosaur, Thomas asked him. Dinosaurs were animals that lived a long, long time ago, the driver explained. This is a model for Sodor's new dinosaur park. Then some workers guided Harold as he carefully lowered the model onto Thomas's flatbed. Percy was puffing along the line when Thomas passed. Monster! Percy shouted when he saw the dinosaur. Don't worry, Percy, Thomas said to his friend. This is not a monster at all. This is a dinosaur model for the new dinosaur park. Thomas was very proud to be carrying the dinosaur model. He rolled past the schoolyard with the dinosaur, and the children waved with excitement. Beep, beep! Thomas called. Finally, Thomas reached the dinosaur park. Sir Topham Hat met him there. Good work, Thomas, Sir Hat said. You've been very useful today. The dinosaur was placed in a spot where everyone could see it, from inside the park and out. And every time he passed by, Thomas smiled and gave a special peep peep. The end. Thanks for joining us again. Now let's pop on over to Ronnie for an amazing craft. Hi everyone, I'm Ronnie, your craft master. Our craft today is inspired by the book, Thomas and the Dinosaur. So in the story, it talks about Thomas being scared of this dinosaur until he understands what it really is and then he's not scared anymore. So our craft has to do with conquering your fears. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a flat car and on that flat car we're going to put something that you're afraid of and what you're going to, how you're going to conquer it. So let's get started. So we are looking at just a toy, Thomas, and what we decided to do is make a flat car and he had a dinosaur. He was afraid of the dinosaur. But I am afraid of something else, and I'll show you what that's going to be in a minute. Okay, so we'll get started with our craft. First things we're going to need are some kind of container for the flat car. So a jewelry box top or bottom, or a little snack container that you can use. We also need some construction paper for the wheels. We're going to need some markers, glue, scissors, and oh, and a magnet. These are little because it's going to attach something smaller. 
Okay, let's get started. So I found an old jewelry box that I have at home. And so I thought this would be a nice little flat cart. And you probably have a lot of this stuff around your Christmas things. So I got a white one, so I'm gonna decorate it in any way I want. So one of the things I'm afraid of, and it's gonna seem so silly now, but I'm afraid of worms. Worms are gooey and slimy. They live in the dirt and they're just kind of weird. So my box car or my flat car is gonna be about worms. I'm gonna make different kinds of worms all the way around. I can do them on the bottom. You can make better, better worms or whatever you're afraid of. But I'm gonna make it colorful. I'm gonna put different colors all over. Little ones, big ones, fat ones. And the more I think about it, the creepier they get. <laughs> All right. So we'll start with that. And now you have your black car. Now with the construction paper, you're going to cut us cut some out. And like always, I believe we've done some before. We're just going to go back and forth to make the wheels. And I think you can make four wheels out of this. And you're gonna cut circles. There you go. Then you're going to go ahead and glue them on. Oh. Glue them on two on each side. All right. So one of the things that I've had to learn to do to, to deal with the worm thing that I don't like is I've had to kind of hold them. I had to go in the garden and you know how you're in the garden and you're working and then you find a worm in there. I used to scream and just go, ah, it's a worm and I'd be out of there really quick. But now I just kind of look at it and realize how important it is to have worms in the soil. It makes the soil ready for plants and other things. So right now I'm just going to let this go upside down and let it dry for just a little bit. All right, so now pretty much this is what it is. You will make yours whatever you're afraid of. Maybe it's bumblebees, maybe it's spiders. You could put spiders in here. So with my toy Thomas, I can attach this to the back of him and then it looks just like our story when they were going to, uh, when he was gonna take the dinosaur to the museum. But there's one other thing. I can't get real worms in here, so I got some gummy worms. Now, so funny as it sounds, I'm not a big fan of gummy worms because they are worms, but they're still tasty. So I'm filling my little container full of gummy worms to represent the worms that I'm afraid of. And another thing I was thinking about is sometimes we don't have a Thomas train. So I decided to make a Thomas train with, um, with the toilet paper roll. And I think earlier this year, we did make a toilet paper train. So I would kind of use the same kind of idea. Yep, and then it snuck onto there. So now you have your own Thomas train in case you don't have one. So that is our craft for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's kind of a nice idea to sit there and think about what you might be afraid of and try to conquer those fears in a way that helps you the best. All right. Well, thanks for coming and visiting us here at the Colorado Railroad Museum. I look forward to seeing you next month. Bye. Like, comment, share, and subscribe 
Commenting and sharing in particular may qualify as virtual engagements for important funding programs like the SCFD.